Hi guys, Dr. Heather Brown here. Thank you for tuning back in. And this is video number two on self-love and self-care. Today is the one that you were expecting. Why is it so hard to love yourself? I hear this all the time and people say I have to work at it and how do I do it and it's such a challenge and that is the actual problem that we're turning it into work we're turning it into a challenge we're turning it into there's something wrong that I need to overcome or undo when you think of love it's acceptance, it's embracing, it's allowing someone or something to be just as it is and to decide to choose to be what is beautiful or precious or wonderful. And so when we come to self-love, it's the same, but we don't do that, do we? Because when you think of self-love, it's based upon do I choose to love me? And sadly, we so often don't. Think about that. I choose to not love me. I choose to not care for me. I choose to not view myself as valuable or wonderful or beautiful. I choose to put myself down to dislike myself, to alter myself in all sorts of ways, be it medications or surgeries or careers or location, whatever it might be. Now, I'm not saying there's anything that's not okay with altering yourself or changing yourself, but I think there's a place of looking at, are you doing it out of love? Are you doing it out of embracing? Are you doing it out of the place that you can't let yourself be you? I'm seeing a lot of this right now with gender issues with teens, having a really hard time letting themselves be who they are and fitting into this world. And also even knowing what it means to be them. So what if you decide today to stop fighting yourself, to stop making it a challenge or a battle or a have to, to love yourself? What if you were just to take a deep breath and say, I am who I am. I am who I am. And I'm gonna start with this moment and this breath and this dollar or this pound or this reality. This is where I am. This is who I am. For right now and I'll start here with this breath with this step and from here it's up to me where I go who I am what I choose if we start in a place of embracing who we are we're going to be able to move forward in how we bloom so much more easily so right now, take a deep breath in, out, in this moment, I am me, just as I am, and that is where self-love begins. There's so much ahead. I look forward to sharing more. See you soon.